Welcome back. We did some things offline actually and today we want to show you where we are with the insulation because this is the big topic. We, we were coming back to this topic many times but finally maybe you can see there are some mosquitoes but behind them you can see some of the PIR panels. This is our main insulation on the walls and we really hope to finish it today. We really need to because we need to get our van to the mechanic for some fixes before our trip but about that we'll tell you later as you can see Marcin pre-cut all these panels and we need to cut all the remaining parts and then attach it to the wall using the spray foam which is also going to serve as the insulation for all the little places that you know this hard insulation doesn't go into so it will just fill in all the nooks and small holes join us with this gruesome task of completing the insulation of the walls we have a lot of mess in here but it's really we don't have a good place to cut the, the insulation and it's not the easiest thing and it's a bit messy but we did cut many of the things and now we have this kind of like a Frankenstein insulation <laughs> yeah like a, if, if you want to build a spaceship from the crap you found in some junkyard then yeah that's the, <laughs> the spaceship we're going for <laughs> But other than that, I think it's uh, we have only uh, this spot left, so it's not so bad. And we we are not really filming all of it because it's a lot of squeaking, and uh, we are both needed for that. It's hard work. So after we finish this, we're gonna secure it all with the spray foam, and then we're gonna put more of this foil on top of it for our vapor barrier when we have our. NASA thermos ready um, we can start thinking about putting wood on the walls and when we have wood on the walls this will be this will feel like home almost right this will feel like home when it's done we're gonna be really happy Maybe as you can see from far away it looks much better than from up close but that's good enough we are not using the spray foam today because we don't have that much time as always it takes much more time than we anticipate and we have to divide it for you know different days different locations but uh, it's starting to look quite good just in here left and there is a spot left so. so two pieces and it's done basically basically yes um, oh yeah and i taped these parts just so they don't fall off when we are driving to make sure that we will be able to spray foam them at the same place that they are now quite a handy spot for the phone right yeah oh, those niches <laughs> are gonna be good yeah of course they don't have the inner walls in here right so we need to build the shelf and the, uh, all the sides and the upper part because we have only the, the the back part is the one that's gonna be visible we need to build around it but we we had to leave it open because we're gonna put spray foam in there so work in progress on everything on everything right but look We are gonna pick up some plywood to finish up the walls. 